from original Kathmandu, Nepal. I've been living here for decades um, in mostly in Watertown now 20 plus years. Um, and I would like to, is everything okay? Um, I would like to thank, first of all, Alison. Alison, without you, it just, this would not have been, um, been here. Uh, it, this wouldn't have been possible. Uh, and the Watertown Public Library for, for giving us this, this platform. Uh, I, I thank you, Watertown Public Library, from the bottom of my heart. Um, so uh, before I start with my cooking, I would like to introduce my trusted advisor. <laughs> Is Manuel, <laughs> Manuel from Spain. And fun fact, he's my Airbnb guest and he was very helpful, you know, giving me some advice here and there. And I have, Nina, do you want to come say hello to? I have another <laughs> trusted advisor, uh, my friend Nina, and she's from Malaysia. Uh, they both are um, visiting scholar, actually, Nina Peter. PhD here and, and working for Harvard, and Manu is a visiting scholar at, at Harvard, no less. Um, but um, here we are, right, Manu? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's cook. Yeah. <laughs> Let's cook. And I have my technical director, Louis, Dewey, and Huey. Yeah. No, actually, Pete. <laughs> I don't know how many people got that reference. <laughs> but anyway, and Pete is camera shy. Um, he doesn't want to come to the front. So it's still, he said hi, right, Pete? Yeah. Um, so, what are we making today? Um, as Alison had already sent you the list of ingredients and the dishes we're preparing. Lentil, what is my lentil? Oh, lentil um, dal. Um, and when I say soup, people think that they have to eat that before your meal. But Nepali cooking, Nepali meal, you eat soup with your dal with your rice. Uh, you mix the dal just like beans and rice. You mix dal with with rice, um, and of course you can have it on the side and eat that as uh, as a soup. But it's mainly to mix with rice. Um, so I have soaked my lentil uh, for like in the morning because I knew I was going to cook today. Um, so it is good when you you know when you soak legumes. So I I have heard I think it's scientifically sound that it takes away the toxins. So, but don't stress if you have not soaked your lentils, you know, we're not gonna die because we didn't soak the lentil. So let me just, um, I have already washed three, four times. Um, so this is the last water. I'm gonna just drain it. And I'm gonna put fresh water. Um, that I had in the kettle. Um, well, it takes quite a, quite a bit of time with this kettle. So I'm just gonna do like this. So it's one cup of lentil with at least five cups of right, um, water. Um, you know, if the lentil it looks too thick after 25 minutes, you can, war you can add some, um, warm water, don't pour in cold water. Um, and if the lentil is too thin, I'll just reduce it. It's uh, it, it's that easy. So let me just... And after, um, now I added water. And as the recipe says, um, I'm gonna add some um, turmeric. One eighth teaspoon, I said, um, and salt. So I add some salt, um, one teaspoon. Yeah. Your mother's recipe. Oh yes, um, this is my mother's recipe, but a little watered down version of it. Um, and growing up, um, I never really liked dal. I started eating dal only after I came to the States and my mother made the best dal. My cousins would come just to taste dal when after they're from the, returning from the school, they would stop by my house 
And then they, you know, my mother had to have some dal left over for them to, to taste it. Um, thank you for asking. Yeah. <clears throat> so I added water, uh, uh, turmeric, salt, some pepper, black pepper. Um, where is my black pepper? Oh, here. Yeah. Some black pepper, and I'm going to chop up some onions. Um, some, yeah, here's my onion. You can see it, right? Yeah. Small onions. Maybe this will be a little too much, so I may not add all of it. And let's see. Just slice the onion, however. Um, you always use red onion? No, I you know I had red onion today. Somehow I thought I had yellow onion, but I'm using red onion. I, um, red onions are much more. Um, it's a little stronger. I, it, it's not as sweet as yellow onion. In there, and a bit more, half of it. So if you have any question, I think Alison already told you um, or said uh, that you know you can write in the chat box, and Alison will just nod to me. There you go. Um, so before, so I put like one and a, uh, like three quarter of the onions. I didn't put all of it. And somehow I'll just put this away later on. Maybe if I want to um, flavor the um, oil when I'm cooking um, my cauliflower, I can add this. Uh, but let me just put this away. So dal cook takes like half an hour or so. And while the dal is cooking, I can concentrate on cauliflower. Um, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, thank you. So I put that now a tomato. I have not washed it. Let me just wash tomato and pour it. Someone asked when the tomato goes in, but it looks like we're getting that ready right now. Everything, yeah. It is, that's why it is really easy, um, totally streamlined. This is the dal is the easiest thing to cook. Of course, you can make it much more um, not complicated, but you know, really uh, complex. And you can even with a little bit of oil, you can even, uh, saute the lentils and it has it gives you a nutty flavor but this one is I am today just trying to uh, you know cook the simplest possible way um, and then there is variation um, so this is the simplest way to make it just put everything in and a little oil you just put a little dash of oil so that it will not boil over oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, the, and I mean, what type of oil? Any, 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 oil, any, oil. any oil, just a little bit so that oil will not be over, you know, will not overpower the dal. And at the end, when when the dal is cooked, just to round out the flavor, um, I put ghee uh, in my kitchen. I know it's a big bar of ghee, but <laughs> oh, but um, what's ghee? A ghee is a clarified butter. You know, when you you give you buy can buy you can make your own ghee if you want. But Trader Joe has it. I think even any other uh, star market has started carrying it. It's it, it's not you know we all know, you know butter is just not fat. It has a lot of other things. And you know one thing it does is like it makes your skin, um, you know good. <laughs> it's good for your skin. Uh, and so, and then, you know, butter is used in a lot of Ayurvedic medicine, so it's really, it tastes good, 
it rounds out the flavor. It gives like uh, this thickness, nuttiness, uh, a flavor to food. And sometimes I even cook my vegetables in ghee, and it just is a different taste. Just to make a little. Do you use butter? Very instead, if you have? Yeah, if you don't have, uh, but if you, um, I said you know um, because it would have been too many things, and I think I may have said butter. But yeah, in Nepali kitchen, you always have ghee. So it's just because I use it. So it's don't stress. Your skin, you mean when you eat it? Or yeah, when you eat it. No, when you eat it, it's much more beneficial when you eat it. It's topical only, you know, when you put on the skin, it's topical. But when you eat it, it's just all the same. I don't know. Don't ask me about scientific facts. Amita, <laughs> Amita <laughs> you have a question. Uh, lentils are already in the book. So they here? Yeah, if the lentils are here now. Yes. Oh, somebody put them on. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had. My thing, they. Oh, they didn't see it. Can yeah. I show it? Yeah, lentil was there, one cup of lentil. I had already soaked it beforehand. I mean, okay. Um, and then I added five cups of water. Um, and then I started putting lent and I was turmeric, salt, black pepper, uh, and um, bay leaf, and. Um, you know, an onion and sliced onion and tomato. tomato. Yeah, thank you, Manu. Okay, so um, now I'm going to concentrate on the another uh, thing that I'm making, cauliflower. This is a huge cauliflower. I'm just gonna <laughs> add three fourth of it. So let me just put this away. I hope you like cauliflower. I don't know if you didn't like cauliflower and I hope you like the watercress <laughs> or just try some lentils. <laughs> oh. oh, I was not gonna use this wood knife. This is, this knife is taller than me, I think. <laughs> Namita, I have a question from the chat. Is it your preference to soak lentils for digestive reasons or does not soaking them just increase the cooking time? It, it, all of it is true. Um, red lentil takes really 30 minutes cooking time. You are not going to save that much, but it's mainly, you know, legumes have toxins. So if you eat it every day, it might affect your health. But, you know, once in a while, if you forget, like I said, don't sweat. I mean, so often I, I you know, I, I don't sew because I suddenly I want to have lentil. <laughs> and definitely there are like, Nepali have like eight different kinds of lentils. So this is the fastest cooking lentil. Other lentils we do have to soak. Uh, our Nepali kitchen also has pressure cooker and they put in pressure cooker. Um, so, and for this recipe, you can use any lentils or a specific, yeah, any lentils. Lentils. not a black lentil, no white lentil, black lentil because some spices don't go with the black ah, lentil, okay. you know, it okay. will not taste good. The, the, the spices will not really uh mingle, yeah, with okay. the, yeah, it will just stand out, okay, okay. Only with the black lentils, then. yeah, not okay. with the black lentils, but with any kind of yellow, red. Lentils, you can do that. Very nice. Thank you. I hope I um, satisfactorily answered the question. I think so. And again, if anyone has any questions at all, um, please put them in the chat and we'll make sure Namita gets to answer them. Annie so, says, yes, thank you. That was a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, a little smaller than this there. Sorry? It's a small knife right there. This one? Red, red and white. This one? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, you do. You oh. need it. So I'm going to just now rinse this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So now it's boiling. I turn it down to um, medium heat. So I'm going to wash this first. And then I'll start cutting. That's right. Maybe I should use the. Again, another thing. I don't know how many of you miss Russo. <laughs> Once Russo left us, 
you know, I didn't know where to go buy my vegetables. I used to go to um, Patel Brothers uh, for different kind of vegetables. But then I found now I found my new Luso that is Super 88 in Alston Brighton. So that's where I go buy my vegetables. And cauliflower, I usually use Chinese cauliflower. They are more like a, what we used to find in Nepal. But, um, you know, the cauliflower season is almost gone. Uh, it's a winter vegetable, so they didn't have really good Chinese cauliflower. So I bought this one. Yeah, another thing with Ayurvedic cooking is we, you know, like to, or we just, it just so happened that we eat what the season gives at the time. Well, it is changing in Nepal now. Um, but yeah, cauliflower is a winter vegetable. And that was the reason why I wanted to make cauliflower today. So out of curiosity, how many people are cooking with me? Can you say that in the chat? <laughs> There's one guy showing. Yeah. <laughs> who, who? I don't know. <laughs> We've got a couple of people cooking John, along and thank you, John, oh, for, John. for being on video with us. A lot of people here with you. Yeah. All those people. Really? Yeah. Wow. John, by the way, John, who is cooking, he's, he was my Airbnb guest. And he did say that he would come, but I didn't believe. Like, none of my family came today. <laughs> <laughs> We've got at least four or five people in the chat sharing that they are also cooking along. Wow. <laughs> and maybe more who just can't also get to the chat while they're Right, right. <laughs> it is really, I make me so happy. Uh, Nepali cuisine is mostly is, is vegetarian and inexpensive. Um, this could be totally vegan if I didn't use the butter today. But I'm just vegetarian. I'm not a vegan. Otherwise, my life would be miserable. I, I <laughs> no offense to vegans. <laughs> vegans. <laughs> I like butter too much. <laughs> I eat too much. What size are you cutting the, what size do we cut the cauliflower oh, up to? Quarter, I don't know. And why are you cutting the cauliflower right now? Is it necessary or just yeah. is your preference? No, you don't want to cook the whole boil of cauliflower in the vegetable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My friend asked, you know, why are you cutting the cauliflower? <laughs> like you don't want to eat the whole head of cauliflower, right? It just be hard to cook. So you need to cut it. Is there a particular size um, to cut the cauliflower? It's really complicated. Well, just cut it this much for now. <laughs> um, yeah, like what size would you ca call it, Nina? Um, maybe like an index finger size length. Like this, oh, the flower, two. and so. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Um, I have to peel the potato. Remember cauliflower with potato. It's that's not cauliflower, potato. Okay, perfect. Amita, we have Sachita joining us from California, and she says it's a bit early to start cooking in California. So, yes. <laughs> Your big sister from California is watching. Yeah. Oh. She surprised me. I don't. I didn't think she would be here. I was complaining. None of my family came. Then it's too early to start cooking. Oh. Seven o'clock is too early to start cooking. In California. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot the time difference. Just to bother, I had to. I should have sent a link to my brothers in Nepal. <laughs> they, had to, they had to. wake up at five in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's five, like five, it's five morning. Minutes. Yeah, five in the morning, next day. Cool. Yeah, so, so I just peeled the potato. Uh, I had two potatoes just in case, you know, sometimes when you buy potato, it's a, like green spot. And of course, you, you don't want to eat green potato. But they're hot. They're bad. They taste bad. And that's what you want to get. So I'm going to chop up this potato. And you want to... Oh God, yes, I, this is what I mean. There's something here. Um, let's see. I'm going to quarter it. Can you see it? That I'm quartering it. Yeah. 
it needs to cook. I have already. So as I'm cutting up the potato, I have to heat the pan. I do not cook in um, nonstick pan. The whole dinner is really bad for you. <laughs> so, you know, the, so I have all these steel pans and I treat them so that it doesn't stuck on the bottom, the food doesn't stuck on the bottom. Sorry? Season it. I season it. Treat it or season it? I don't know. What is the right word? Both is good, but okay. I think seasoning is more. Yeah, and and that's why I'm very particular about my pot. I don't let anybody use it and not soak it. So you know, soaking rain is bad for the pot, right? So I'm just trying to be efficient, and I'm just going to now uh, do this. Let me look at my. Oh, um, does the camera see this? No. No. <laughs> So as you can see, where's my <laughs> no? I can just tilt the pot. Yeah. Yeah, my friend said you're careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you see? So Amina, we have, we have a question. Yeah. We have a question here about lentils. Um this is the full question. Can you speak some more about the toxins in lentils? Is it expected in all lentils? And do you soak and then throw away the water? It's yes, not clear. Legumes. Yes, legumes. Okay. Are legumes. legumes is supposedly, you know, when they are in a pot, the inside is legumes. So I don't um, know, uh, like uh, sweet peas are toxins, but definitely lentils are um, that's what I have read. There are toxins and you throw the water. You throw the water that you have soaked in and you have to wash two, three times. And same, well, uh, before I forget, you do the same thing with rice. People think that somehow rice is like pasta. In the pasta, you don't wash. So I have heard so often that they, don't, they didn't wash rice. Um, I have seen in parable rice, do not wash it or like vitamin D added or whatever, but I cook uh, basmati rice or you know jasmine rice we always wash until the water is clear three four times and also it reduces the starch and it's easily digestible how long do you soak the lentils lentils are you know four or five hours the overnight if you put it overnight then it soaks but then if you soak it too much it's not good <laughs> so all right um all right oil i said half a cup um, I don't have to measure, maybe I should. Let me just measure it then. Um, so now I should have- cooked. What are you going to cook here now? Uh, cauliflower and potato. Oh, okay. We should have done it a little early, so we might, um, so it, 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 I have like half an hour to cook everything now. Um, rice. I will ask Manu, do you mind okay. washing the rice? I have already two cups of rice in uh, my um, yeah. rice cooker. Rice cooker? Okay. Yeah. Most of the Nepali have rice cooker this day. And like it's like having a, a saucepan. So you don't have to think. You just wash it, measure the rice. And he said, if you have two cups of rice, the cups they give you, there's a two line, water up to two lines, switch it on, done. And um, some other time I can show you how to make rice on a stove top. It's just as easy, but that just takes away time that I have to look at. Oh, in case someone's not using a rice cooker, what should they do? Oh, did I? Um, well, what should, uh, is somebody asking? No, no but I'm, I'm just we'll curious. Try cooking along with you, right? Okay. All right. Okay. So if the rice, my cooking rice throws you away, don't worry. 18 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> So if you have, you know, if you have pizza bread, or whatever, you can eat all these things with pizza bread. Did I say rice? Did I in my in my link? Alison, did I say we'll be eating with this with rice or no? Let me check the recipe. <laughs> because that's what just in my head, I think. I mean, like, why why is this rice? Why that's not rice? It's and how yes. you eat like 20 different types of rice. It's the best. Basmati is the best rice. It is aromatic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah, okay. but I do it on the stove top. Eighteen minutes. Yeah, done. It's very easy. I mean, maybe how many? Down a little. 
get it boiling, turn it down, cover it. Yeah. 18 yeah. minutes. Right. <laughs> so and how how thin did you cut the potatoes? You were quartering them, correct? I quarter them. So you know, you don't want the potatoes or the cauliflower to be mushy, right? And this is a really balancing act. Uh, even if it's the uh, water, no, the cauliflower disintegrates. If the water uh, cauliflower disintegrates, um, it still tastes good. But in, then it will be you don't see cauliflower, you know. And then, but you don't want to have in the kind of too crunchy cauliflower. But you know, so that's why you have to cover it. And at the end, you have to take it out. So now my oil is heated. I'm gonna put some. I don't know if I told you or asked you to have chili pepper, but again. People are, uh, you know, can handle chili pepper. If you have chili pepper, put the chili pepper in. Uh, if not, don't worry. And now uh, comes the, you know, balancing of um, cumin seeds and coriander seeds. So I'm cooking with the seeds too. So like a half a teaspoon of uh, cumin seed. And then I didn't say this in my uh, list of ingredients because, you know, it could be too overwhelming. In Indian stores, there you can find all these five seeds in a package. It's called Panchafuran. I can write this down later on in the chat. And it has fenugreek seed, um, cumin seed, azuwan, uh, fenugreek, and uh, fennel, and then seeds of onion. So these are all five mixes, five, just like five spices in Chinese food. It's a five uh, seeds. So it really gives a nice aroma and I understand the health benefits too, I'm sure. Um, so it is don't let it burn. Can you show yeah? So now you can see um I put the oh okay what do you want me to do with the right can you put water yeah up to two a little bit more than two also would be good because um uh, the basmati rice really um, expand. Basmati rice, and especially if it's the old basmati rice, it expands a lot. So you can just put a little. Bit. Okay, if it's more than two, it's okay. Now, okay, I put my, I put my um, tomato in there. I want you to see them. Um, put it put potato in there. And uh, now I have to add. This is one another thing about um, cooking with the spices. You want to put turmeric before salt. Let me just do this. So turmeric. That order is kind of important. Other, uh, so okay, I'm putting a bay leaf in there. Now I'm gonna put turmeric into my potato. Do you want me to? Yeah. And cover. What is the neighbor? So my friend here, Manu, just made the rice in the rice cooker, so I don't have to worry about that. So as you saw it, right? I have potato in there. And yeah, thicker pan would be good, so it doesn't that heat doesn't dissipate. Um, you know, it's like when we cover it, um, so you know it will be softer. So you put this um, thing first, and then I'm gonna add the cauliflower. Can you tell us about the dried spice mix that you had put in the cauliflower and potatoes again? Okay, um, it's called, first I put cumin, um, and then I, that was the first thing, and a chili pepper. And then I had this sponsor for five seeds, Spices. So, do you want to know the name of the seed? Yes. Okay. Uh, um, P, can you write like fenugreek? What? <laughs> chat. Chat. Fenugreek. F E N U G I E E K. Fenugreek. Seed fennel. Um, um, this one now I cut completely. I'm blanking out. Uh, this is that smells good in a fine in Indian restaurant. Fennel. Oh, F E N N E L. Yeah, you got that one. A fenugreek. I said fenugreek. Fenugreek. Fennel. Azuan. Azuan. Yeah. Z A. A Z W A N. 
And oh, I have this um, onion seeds. And then I have um, mustard seed, black mustard seed. If you, you say Panchpuran, and you will find it in Indian restaurant, my friend. How do you spell that? P A N C H. P A N C H. F U R A N. F U R A N. And yeah, and it comes in a packet. So now I'm going to add uh, the potato is cooked a little bit. I'm going to add my curry flour. Don't put it out of my way. Any curry flour to your page? I don't know. Thank you for the spice spice name. What kind of chili pepper did you put in? Kind of chili pepper. Oh, it's just red dried chili pepper I found in Super 88. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter. At least in this cooking. And it is hot. I actually, I really don't know what um what kind chili pepper. When you go to Indian restaurant, it's different kind of chili pepper. They just say red chili pepper. It's not like habanero, all these like uh, I green bird. Chili. Something in you see in um Mexican food, they have so they are so particular about kind of chili pepper. In Nepali cooking, when you want fry in the in the oil, you just have to have dry chili pepper, red dry chili pepper. And I mean, why why you put the tomato in the length of the panel with the potato and this? And the um, well, you know, like what goes with what, right? I uh, think we need to repeat it because they don't hear me sometimes. They don't see it? They they don't hear my oh. Yeah, I mean. oh okay. Uh, my friend Manu is asking why don't I add tomato in the cauliflower, but I add it in the in the in the in the lentil. Different food, different dishes make different kind of oh, like, different. Side, like, okay, yeah. Okay. So you don't, you know, when you are making tomato sauce, you want to put basil in it, right? And when you are making whatever, what is the other creamy sauce in Italian food? What's that? Alfredo, you don't put basil. Yeah, yeah. So things like that. What goes with that? Yeah, yeah, okay. You got it. I'm explaining too much now. I'm almost explaining to you. <laughs> so. If you have bay leaf, put bay leaf in. And I'm going to put now salt. I have not put salt in there. I don't think so. Let me taste it. No. Two teaspoons in a pretty big uh, bat. I'm going to now cover it and let it cook, cover it. When I see it in the pan, I think it works. It's not going to be stuck yet on the bottom. That would be a disaster. All the spices will be on the bottom. Only the pan will be coated with spices, not the food. <laughs> and how much of the um, panche fur on the, um, the, the spice oh, mix yeah, did teaspoon. you put in? A teaspoon. A teaspoon. A teaspoon. Is everybody following along? Yeah, I have I missed, have I lost people? Sure, there are. The, the reason I ask is I'm going to now cook the watercress. Yes, the cauliflower did go in. Yeah, okay, good. Someone asked if the cauliflower went in. Oh, they didn't see? Oh, well, sorry. They, they didn't yeah. see it. They must have been cooking. Oh, so <laughs> um, do I, can I, yeah. 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 So here's one thing I have to tell you the, the order of when you put the spices. <laughs> Uh, when you have um, turmeric, and in Nepali cooking, everything has turmeric in it. That's the basic uh, ingredient, just like salt. Um, so put the turmeric first. Uh, let it coat the, your vegetable and then salt. When you put, my grandmother told me this. I don't know, you know, I was not even like, I was, you know, maybe it was just in the talk, not like, Sit down, Namita. I'm going to tell you today. <laughs> it was not like that. You know, just by the way. So when you um, put salt before, it doesn't allow the turmeric to coat and absorb. You know, and again, turmeric is so good for health and whatnot. You find turmeric in pills in CVS. 
But again, turmeric is goes, you know, it's absorbable if you have black pepper in it. So only turmeric does just like when you, you know, vitamin D, so for the vitamin C. So when you're eating, you know, so all these things. So pepper, you gotta put black pepper when you have turmeric too. So I'm gonna put it, I forgot. And then black pepper, uh, one eighth of a teaspoon, just a little, you know, like here. And about how long did you cook the potatoes before you added the cauliflower in? Uh, five minutes. Five minutes. We do that because, um, you know, in our country, in potato uh, takes longer to cook. But here I find the cauliflower takes just as much time. So yeah, just let the potato you know, brown a little bit before you cauliflower, you know, put cauliflower. So I'm cooking in high heat, like medium high. But um, so I hope you have put enough oil and it's covered and just kind of listen. And also, yeah, uh, don't let it burn. <laughs> and the lentils? I think it's cooked. Let me see. You want to check the lentil? Later. No. So I'm just going to, I think my lentil is cooked. I don't know if people's uh, lentil cooked. So I'm just going to throw away the bay leaf. I don't like it, the taste of it. Um, you know, when it is it is soaking too much. And I'm gonna now taste it. And another thing, we do not take this from the um, ladle. You are making, you are contaminating the whole thing, you know? So you wanna put in a little bowl, little whatever this tasting thing. It's definitely cooked. Mm. I think, you know, I see the, all right. Now, the rice is cooking, this thing is done. I, um, do you have your ginger and garlic? So I'm going to press some garlic in here. You know, we're getting ready to put this garlic um, in my water press and in the, the cauliflower thing. Um, so I don't know how many, um, so I have like, I don't know, four or five, Garlic and then ginger. So I had a small thing, so you just scrape it. You can even do this with a teaspoon. I'm not gonna put ginger in the uh, watercress. I'm gonna put ginger in my uh, cauliflower. So. So, are people following me with the ginger too or no? Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> so I think they're busy. I, yeah, uh, I did the garlic and ginger. Oops. Funny thing, and I forgot to wear my um, apron. So if you don't have a mortar and pestle, you just use the side of a knife. Say that again. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you just use the side of a chef's knife. Yeah. <laughs> However, just take a like a bowl and oh, no, no, no. press it. Yes. How much? How much do you get the ginger? Um, you know, you're saying that. Yeah, they can see the ginger on the recipe. If it's necessary, it's um, yeah, it, it's like um, for that cauliflower, um, it was a little too much, like let's say one inch, yeah, one inch of ginger, okay. yeah. Oh, I didn't see in the recipe, I didn't put in the recipe. So, again, really, it's not the end of the world, your food will taste still taste good if you don't have ginger. Um, and yeah, you know, so I'm going to put this in a little bowl. So let me see. Oh, okay. It's cooking nicely. How is the garden car going over there? <laughs> yeah, what do people say? Nothing. 
the, the cooking. Yeah. I think so, people are busy following along. Okay. And I'm crushing the I like that. I'm Sorry. Start doing that too. I never use the mortar and pestle for the garlic, though. I like it. Yeah, it, it's much, it's crushes. Except for the bounces out. Yeah, I just have to do that. Yeah, you know, I and mean, these things are a staple of my family household. Um, so I'm just using it. Uh, people cross their garlic in many ways. It seems kind of like Indian food in some ways, but it must not be exactly the same. Spices are, no, no, no. we use the same spices, yeah. but cook in a different way. Yeah. yeah. Can go on about it. Um, yeah. Nepali food is lighter. If you have to compare the Nepali food you find in restaurants, they're mainly Indian food. Uh, they're not really in Nepali food. Um, yeah, uh, cauliflower never comes in a tomato sauce. But if you go to a Nepali restaurant, cauliflower is all in the red sauce. That's just that I never have growing up in a restaurant in Nepal. But here, yeah, it's it's not really. It's that far from. All right. Um, while it is cooking, I'm going to. It just I have already ground cumin. And I have got spice in a grinder here. Um, if you have cumin coriander, just leave it here. I'm just gonna grind it now. Oh, it's almost done. How many? How many? How many? Cumin coriander. All right. So it's cooked. I'm gonna put it away. Uh, are you ready for uh, watercress? Yes. <laughs> Did somebody say yes or you said Not yes? So I have a walk. Um, and then cauliflower slimano, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Can you wash this? Um... Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, no, just like this much. Okay. I put a lot of water. Holly said, sure. Can you show this one? Holly's ready. Yeah, yeah. 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 Holly is ready to put a lot of press. Do you, do you didn't put that in yet, right? The, the garlic and the ginger. No, no. Let's let's put the ginger and garlic in our cauliflower now. And, you know, the spice cumin, coriander. Cumin. So when you put it from the, you know, far from the pot, it kind of... Uh, scatters nicely rather than putting it from here. That's the only reason why I put it from the top. Uh, so did I put a little black pepper? Now it's done. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that, right? Yeah. They're dirt, right? And, um, while I'm doing this, I have a I have a second hand here. You want me to put this? I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to So no. this one can you? Um, let's just so I'm going to add. This is the coriander, and I'll stir it. Which one was the uh, good for that? I think. Yeah, I put that. So I hope your cauliflower is coming along well. Thank you. That's good. So I just have to do And if you think that you know you didn't have enough oil and the cauliflower, you can always add some, a little bit of water. And I'm gonna cover it so it can cook with the steam too. So I put uh, cumin, coriander, and uh, now garlic. Garlic and ginger. Stir it. Hold it. So I may have to 
actually put some a bit of water, like a teaspoon, two teaspoon, so it cooks just a few minutes. Um, now I'm going to concentrate. Uh, is everybody okay? Can I start the watercress? Are you still on high heat for the cauliflower and potatoes? I'm um, still like on seven, you know, a bit high. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So I have my watercress in this huge bowl. The reason is when you want to bring, you want to fill the water, a big bowl, and immerse the uh, greens in there. And like wash it like this and put it on the bowl. So you will see how much dirt it, you know, you will see at the bottom. If you wash it with the water and then if you do this, the dirt will still be there. A friend of mine said that she didn't know this trick. She knew only after she washed the so salt. And on Netflix, and she thought that like, oh, so I could, you know, maybe a lot of people know, but I just wanted to mention that. Um, just like now, what is the other? I don't know if you did it. Let me get more so much, but I just wanted to demonstrate. Oh, here. Um, what? Are more? No, there are like this um cilantro. So anyway, um, yeah. So I already. Oh, here. I was so prepared. So yeah, like this, you just, yeah, and then you take it out and you will see at the bottom how much dirt all the stuff settles. And then um, we never cut uh, greens, we break it. The reason is, <laughs> somebody told me, I mean, I don't know how many people bought uh, watercress from Russo's. They used to be little snails. <laughs> When you chop it, you will chop the snails too. So, but I have not seen this in Super 88. So I think they take care of that, however. So it's still, I have this habit to cut it, like, you know, break it like this. So three, you know, three, one, you know, three, three pieces, you know, one stem and three pieces. So here's my Namita, watercress. Yeah. Before you start the watercress, someone wanted to know, can we use avocado oil for the watercress? Yes, yes, I do have it. Um, yes, in a neutral oil, I use all kinds of, I have like five different kinds of oil in the household. Like of course, you know, for Italian food, the olive oil, but with Nepali cooking, I kind of play with it. You know, I also cook with the mustard oil. So people go, what? Yeah, um, yeah, please do. But today I'm not gonna cook um, watercress and avocado oil. I'm just gonna use cold pressed <laughs> canola oil. And sometimes, like I said, I cook in mustard oil. Yeah. So I think we're doing good with the time. I don't know how many. Uh, so are you watching the cauliflower too? Smells good, doesn't it? I can smell. Yeah. So I don't know if it's so I'm still going to cook this. Snail watercress. Oh, it looks like that. Snail watercress is for non vegetarians. <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> yeah, I have the little snails. And if you go to Chinese restaurant, you know, sometimes you see that in garnish. Actually, my friend has seen a little bug in there. So, watch out. Watercress, you know, it's in the water, it goes in the water, and then I think it's, yeah. So it's called water. Right, right. It needs a lot of water. Um, all right. So I'm going to so is everybody okay? Prepare, ready for this? It's the easiest thing to cook. And I somebody just told me watercress is uh what uh, nutritionally dense. Um, you know, it has more than any other green leafy vegetables I heard. I'm not sure. Um, but it's healthy and it really it has a bitter taste and especially with Nepali food and you have cauliflower, potato, and that kind of sweet is. So it kind of balances out, you know, a little bitterness with a little sweet thing. So, all right, good. So do you want to taste the cauliflower? Okay. Okay, I have a tester here. 
see, I mean, it, it looks kind of weird, you know, one second. Okay, I'll give you potato juice, one second. Potato is not cooked, not, it's very hot. Yeah. Uh, so if the oil is heating, and I have again this red chili pepper, if you don't have it, don't sweat. Um, and um, so I put a little bit of fenugreek seed. Oh, yeah. oh? No, um, more time. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you want to test? No. You are an expert. So, Manu said that it needs to be cooked a little bit more. What do you think? So, I, in this. I like it, kind of. Yeah, the one, yeah, yeah. Like you just, it's, it's not, so it's not cooked yet. Um, it was too much, and this yeah. cauliflower is very, very dense. Uh, yeah, me too. All right, so, um, do you have fenugreek seed? If you don't, don't worry. I put a little bit of fenugreek seed, I put a little bit of chili pepper, and then I turn down the uh heat, I turn it off. It got that it was too much heat. So now, one, one question. Yeah. Namita, uh, there are a lot of people that don't like the spicy, so they no. can cook all of these things without the spicy, or yeah. it's like no. Uh, no, 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 no. Chili pepper is totally optional. Okay. Totally optional. Now, you know, two, three cloves of garlic with their thing. It really gives a good flavor, as you all know. Are you ready? Namita, are you finding watercress in the store only during one to two seasons and not all year? Um, and if you are finding watercress all year, um, did you say Super 88 in Austin Brighton is where you shop? She's, she's saying, do you only find watercress one or two seasons, not all year? And is Super 88 in Austin Brighton? Which I know it is. Yeah. H Mart is. Out on 128. Yeah, it's far, uh, it's too far away, but super aided has it. And also watercress, I mean, I see it all around. Well, when we were growing up, it was a winter vegetable. But I did, you know, you find watercress all the time. Is that the question? Did yeah, I answer yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now it's that a, thing is in. It's a Chinese store, uh, more than anything, super 88. And, yeah. And H Mart, Asian, Asian store. So again, uh, beta 18. One fourth would be a little too much, perhaps. Let's see. This is a quarter teaspoon. Yeah, a quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric. And again, coat it. Uh, which one can I use? Okay. It's another super radio. Sorry? It's another super radio. Where? Somewhere else. Uh, I gotta look it up. I forget. So I'm cooking this watercress in high heat. So turn down your uh, cauliflower, please. Cauliflower dish. Um, so while you're concentrating on it, it might be burning. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> so I put it with turmeric and now put salt in it. A bit of salt, maybe quarter teaspoon, because you know, stag or water in you know, a greens just uh, shrinks so much. Super eighty eight Oh. I see. And black pepper. And that's all it needs. It doesn't need any of those like cumin, coriander. No, 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 don't do that. Um, so in high heat, cook for, I don't know, 10 minutes at the most. If you want, you can even cover it for a bit, few minutes. Let's see. Can you see this? So it's up to so far, it's in high heat. And it's almost done. Oh, there's a central square has an H mark as well, Cambridge. So I now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top off my what is this? Is it or what? Maybe no. No, that's not good. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. So my cauliflower is all done, I think. So what I'm gonna do is cover still cover. So now I'm going to use uh, my green green thing. Green thing. Okay. Yeah. Wash it. Okay. 
Yeah, can you... Where is my light? Okay. I don't know. Here. It will not be lonely, but let's see if people complain like this turned off. So I'm chopping this green onions, not too thick. So we cook a little bit, and then I'm going to cover this and turn down the heat. I just turn it off. Now, maybe like, I don't know, it's a, a cup, half a cup. Into the whole thing, no? Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna have to put it in the chill. Okay. Yeah. Shannon's, Shannon's sweets. Who? Shannon. Will Betsy's. Oh yeah, yeah, there you are. <laughs> they said they would be there, and they are. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm going to add this green onions in both my lentil and my um, you know, cauliflower you saw. I have turned off the cauliflower, okay? I don't know if you have to turn off the cauliflower and let it cook in steam. Um, so again, once them together and then slice them. So as you can see, it's not too big. You know, big um, for garnish doesn't look good. It's just not garnish, it's for taste also. So since I'm gonna put this, not cook it in my lentils, so, so I, it cannot be too thick. So I'm just gonna put it aside here. Okay, and I'm cutting cilantro for my dal. And do not throw away the stems of cilantro. Wash it whole bunch, you uh, know, when it's still in full length, wash it well. And because it has really a great aroma, again, cilantro is not parsley. Parsley stem, I think people chop it off, but cilantro, uh, you know, it's very um, soft, it's not tough, and it has a you know, great aroma. So you'll be wasting if you throw away the stem of cilantro. In the cilantro leaf, same plant as the coriander seed. The coriander is the seed of cilantro. Yeah, I don't know why they have two different names. And in Nepali, it's the same. Paneer. All right. This is for my bow. Um, hold on, no? So let me now garnish, let's garnish together our lentil. Let me put this in a little bowl. Huh? So I'm just gonna put this in my bowl. Oh. Come 
Can people see it? Good. Alison, do you, do you think people see it? I think so. I'm seeing the top. Yes, I see it. Holly asks, is the doll like soup, like a soup? Doll like a soup? Yeah, I said that in the beginning, I think. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, it is doll. People, when they say soup, they immediately think that it, you will be eating before the rice. But Nepali cuisine, dal is eaten with the rice, mixed with the rice. You don't have to dump it all together, you know, but a little bit of rice, a little bit of metal, and some vegetables. Um, yeah, um, you can also have in a bowl, and they do do that, and then just have with a spoon. Uh, but dal should be mixed with rice. And as a side, you know, you can eat with the, but it is not a first course uh, soup. So I'm just gonna bring this to the table. And I'm gonna taste this watercress. Taste your watercress. How do you find it? Please. You Holly says it's time to feast. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I've never felt more left out being in an office right now. I wish I were in a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. Taste it. So I'm gonna put this watercress in the in a little thing. Come over here, Alice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So I'm just going to put this. I put a bit, a little too much oil. Um, this was a little peppery. Say that again? Very, very peppery. Peppery, no? Yeah. It is very, yeah. Uh, should, should the watercress be totally soft or should it have a little bit of bite left? It needs to have crunch. It shouldn't be, if it's totally soft, it's too mushy. Yeah, and, you know, it's, I mean, for me, it's even a little bit, uh, I, I should have left the, put the cover away a little bit earlier, but still, you know. Sorry? I'm gonna make that for easy. Oh, there you go. My friend, he was Italian, he, he had Italian heritage. He said that he's gonna make this for Easter. Um, Maru, yep. can I ask you a favor? Yeah. Can you just stir the rice? Okay. Like I kind of... Um, and every plane, like, like, oh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, I don't know the um, what is it called? The situation of this cauliflower, and of course, you can put if you have cilantro left over, uh, you can put it in there. Um, it will not be the end of the world. It will taste good. Uh, let me taste it. Can you taste the cauliflower? How it... Yeah. I, I was telling them this time. Okay. Sorry, man. No, no. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. So, well, at least the cauliflower is cooked. Here, taste it. Let's keep potato. Well, potato seems to be cooked too. Okay, it was not yeah, a little bit acid. What's that? I, I like it the way it was before. So yeah, okay. Sure it's, it's All right. So it's it's like a bit over seven o'clock. Um, how do people feel? I'm gonna taste this. Mm -hmm. mm. 
this is the best meal I ever made, John, John said, John Flynn. Thank you so much. I learned a lot, Holly Vestal. Who said that? Holly Vestal. I see. Vestal. Is my sister still there? I don't know. I'd have to. I think she is still here. Yep. Yeah, she is. I want to hear the criticism from my, my friend, family. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna, gonna I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm just gonna put it in my towel. I don't know. So yeah, the cookie is done. Um. So any question answer? We're gonna yeah. I, I think you can turn the camera. So we have now. We're gonna eat with our friends. Let's eat together virtually. <laughs> the life. And ask questions. And ask questions if you have. I'm gonna put this in a. Last opportunity to ask questions. Yeah, we we have a question. Um, did you add? What were you adding to the curry at the last minute? Scallions or cilantro? Scallions. Scallions. Um, many thank yous are coming in. If anyone has any questions um, before digging in or while you're digging in, feel free to put your questions in the chat. And we will send the video to everyone who was here tonight so you can always replay and, and cook again. Um, and thank you to the technical team, the cooking assistants. Everybody was great. Yeah, thank you.